ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special uh, concert at the 1905. We don't normally stream on Tuesdays, but we are so happy to be here with uh, Porcello. Uh, we're doing some really cool uh, classic rock, all manner of things that you wouldn't necessarily uh, hear on the cello tonight. But uh, thank you for joining us. A reminder uh, that the only way these musicians are getting paid is through the digital tip jars on screen. It is literally how we are surviving. So if you could find it in your hearts and in your wallets to throw a couple dollars into one of the digital tip jars, it really makes a difference. Uh, but also we are... But also we are... Uh, want to give something back to you. So if you put in $20 or more to one of the digital tip jars, uh, you are entered in for a chance to win a $100 gift certificate to the 1905 that is a lot of delicious pizza, which you can use on the patio, which is open seven days a week, 4 p.m. onwards on weekdays, 11 a.m. onwards on weekends. Uh, but also, if you don't have any money to throw on a tip jar, that is totally cool. We are just so glad that you are here. A great free way to help out the stream is to smash that share button. Uh, tell the folk about these tunes. Tag someone in the comments. Share the links around. Uh, thank you so much. And now, some more music from Porcello. <laughs>
If that's not worth $20, I do not know what is. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, joining us on the stream. I see a bunch of you there. We see a bunch of great comments in the chat. Feel free. Uh, you know, um, Dieter and Aaron can see the chat, um, so please holler out whatever you got on your mind. Um, but also, uh, smash that share button. It's a great free way to help out the stream. Uh, throw some money in a tip jar that is uh, the one and only way that these musicians are making any money tonight. Um, and so if you would like to support this incredible music, please consider throwing some money in a tip jar. But also, if you throw 20 bucks or more, there's a chance you could win a $100 gift certificate to the 1905. That's a lot of delicious pizza and booze because the patio is open. It's outdoor, it's safe, it's socially distanced. Uh, please consider coming down and placing an order. Uh, what do we got coming up next, guys? Yeah, you just kind of rip it off. <laughs> it's in there tight. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited to be here at our friend Aaron's, Aaron Barnes, a wonderful 
awesome pizza place, the 1905. Want to give a shout out to Aaron. Thank you for inviting us and for taking a little bit of a risk with a classical cello <laughs> ensemble. Um, as you know, this is a full-time jazz club, but... It's a, it's a little bit different on yep. Tuesdays. <laughs> and we're not even trying that. We're not even trying the jazz tonight, but maybe next time. Um, so we started off our, with a set of rock um, arrangements, and now we're moving into our classical set. Dieter, did you want to say anything about pieces on the classical set? Okay. Okay. Um, and say, I'm just saying hi to my student um, and her sister, Emmy and Mika both like the Metallica, so nice. sweet. <laughs> um, and then I see I see some uh, my brothers here from Minnesota. Hi, oh, Ryan, <laughs> and um, lots of other friends. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate you.
Thank you. Thank you. Just kept, keep, keep uh, coming in for the bathroom, you know. <laughs> I know, I'm going to discourage my, my husband and my friends. Great. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, are you sure it's not inside there? Maybe I already have it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here at a special Tuesday performance of Porcello uh, at the 1905. Uh, a reminder that these musicians are working for your tips and your tips alone. And so if you could find it in your hearts and in your wallets to throw a couple dollars into one of the digital tip jars, uh, it is literally how we are surviving these crazy times. But also, we want to give something back to you. So if you put in 20 bucks or more to one of the digital tip jars, that'll get you in for a drawing for a $100 gift certificate to the 1905 that is a lot of delicious pizza and beer, which you can enjoy on the patio that is open seven days a week, 4 p.m. onwards on weekdays, 11 a.m. onwards on weekends. Uh, but also, if you just need to hang out, that is totally cool. We are so glad that you were here. If you could just smash that share button, it's a great free way to help out the stream. It really makes a difference for viewership uh, that gets this incredible music in front of many people as possible. And now, some more music from Porcello.
Guys, it smells so good in here. I'm getting distracted. Garlic and truffle oil, even through my double layer mask. Just one word about this next selection. This is Haydn Cello Concerto in C major. Just pretty well known piece. This is a little bit condensed version of it, but I have to mention my teacher, Stephanie McDougall, who would um, probably would not like some of the things that we're doing as far as uh, cutting the Haydn a little bit, but she would love the fact that we're drinking beer during the show because she often drank beer during my lessons and occasionally she smoked <laughs> as well. So this is dedicated to her and she is um, almost a member of our family. She passed away about um, four years ago. So this is dedicated to you, Stevie.
Thanks again, everybody. For coming. We're going to take a slight break, um, but we're just indulging in some pizza and some beer. So if you have some favorites that you like to drink or um, drink often, we have ours, of course. So tonight we have with us um, Beerly Brewing, which is in McVinville, and we're drinking some of their Rendezvous Double IPA. And um, yes, Aaron is showing it. Gluten-free, everything they have there is gluten-free, and you can order online and they'll deliver in Portland. We also have Brewery 26, B26 Pilsner, which is really tasty, and we don't often drink Pilsner um, at our place, but it's really good. And then we are drinking some Deschutes Fresh Haze, and Deschutes has been a generous supporter of our concerts. And we're also, I think, going to partake in some Gigantic Hazy, which is on tap here at uh, 1905 very soon. So if you have some that you love, or we are big uh, consumers of IPA, we pretty much drink them all. So hoppy, can't be too hoppy for us. There it is, guys. Cheers. It's always nice to live in a uh, beer nirvana as we do. Some uh, some have called it that. I guess I just called it that right now. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. A reminder that these musicians are working for your tips and your tips alone. So if you could find it in your hearts and in your wallets to throw some money into one of the digital tip jars, that is how... Uh, we are getting paid, and it makes a huge difference in our lives. It is literally how we are surviving these crazy times. But also, we want to give something back to you, so if you put in 20 bucks or more into one of the digital tip jars, that'll get you in for a drawing to win a $100 gift certificate to the 1905. That's a lot of delicious free pizza and beers, um, which you can enjoy on the patio, which is open now seven days a week, 4 p.m. onwards on weekdays, and 11 a.m. onwards on weekends. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. Please, we can see the chat, so uh, holler out um, a hello and what you're enjoying and tunes you might want to hear or some or, or whatever you're feeling. Uh, and now, some more music from Porcello. I saw at least one question about... Uh, titles of pieces on the chat. Um, I think, let's see, I think it was Lori asked what the first piece was tonight. And the first piece was uh, Paranoid, Black Sabbath. Um, so if you have any other questions. Part of classic cello repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, well, <laughs> um, if you've seen Apocalyptica, no. <laughs> and two cellos, let's not forget about them. Um, any other comments? <laughs> Dieter says you can guess what we're playing for the next couple. So, uh, yeah, we'll be watching the answers that come up, that come flying onto the comments.
D-O-T. I owe you a drink, Scott. Anybody guessed Yoda's theme? You are correct. Now moving on to the um, final section of our concert. Thank you so much again for coming. Um, this is our rock section again, and we have a couple things that we haven't played, so hopefully you enjoy. Thank you. At the end of the show, we'll talk more about um, a few different things and um, other sponsors that we have, so stay tuned for that too. Make sure I have enough space because I might go a little crazy.
told me it'd be easier if I left it on the floor. I should listen. Um, so I just want to say a word about one of our other sponsors. Justin Kagan uh, owns and operates Bad Beards Micro Roastery. And I think you can find his information on our Facebook page. Um, but I just I have a few words prepared. Some things that I learned from Justin. Justin, by the way, is an incredible cellist. Moved to Portland 15, 16 years ago or so. And has been a great friend of ours and um, has been a supplier of much caffeine to many musicians over the years. Um, but he's also a fantastic musician and friend. And uh, a couple of things I learned from Justin. One is Starbucks burns the crap out of their beans. You're not wrong there. I think most people people have figured <laughs> that, that out now. And now they have their blonde, their blonde roast. You know. <laughs> uh, the second thing I learned from him is that a single origin espresso is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the blends. Um, and another thing I learned from Justin is um, some people are just not as psychologically minded as you, Aaron, is something he said to me once. And you know, that has helped me so many times to be more empathetic and more patient and um, be a better person. So I appreciate that. Um, and then finally, Justin, I just want to say I'm really sorry about the page turns in Carmen.
have one more um, thing to play for you tonight. We just wanted to mention uh, a couple of things about people that are helping us. So and say um, 503 Distilling makes amazing adult beverages. They're in Oregon City and you can order things online and we really love their gin. Also Portland Wine Company has um, graciously offered um, ordering online. Um, I think you just enter Porcello Fun and you get um, a discount on wine and they're located um, really close in Portland. And they're uh, great folks. Also wanted to mention Kennedy Violins in Vancouver uh, as a regular sponsor, selling violins, violas, and cellos online. Lamont Violins, uh, I think their motto is everybody needs a Baroque bow. So hi to Adam. Um, let's see. Uh, Music World has been supporting us too. They're located in Vancouver and Battleground. So you can, they, and they sell everything, all instruments, cellos included. And also Schubach Violin Shop, which sells cellos, and he's in Newburgh, and he does um, appointments um, in Newburgh. I think that's it. 
Uh, Toby Loftus wants to know if you if these are your own arrangements, or if you have got them from somewhere else. Hi, Toby. I'm so glad you're here. Um, the last one was my arrangement, and uh, I just want to say about that. That's fr that was Hurt Nine Inch Nails from the album Downward Spiral, which has been famously covered by Johnny Cash. Um, I purchased that album when it, the day it came out. <laughs> I was a huge Pretty Hate Machine and Broken fan. And I think I was, it would have been 93. I think I was probably 15. I was the same age as my daughter now, who's now listening to things like, uh, what is she listening to? My Bloody Valentine. No, no, no. Billie Eilish is way too popular, or way too popular. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's a punk now too. So, <laughs> but I bought that album and I, and I put it in my little boom box in my room and I listened to it all night long over and over. And uh, yeah, those were definitely the soundtracks. That and Pretty Hate Machine were the soundtrack of my angsty teen years. So anyway, it was really fun to put that together and do it with Dieter. So glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for asking, Toby. Um, there's a few others. What else? Were there any others that were our arrangement this time? Or No, but I'm trying to think if there was any other credit we should give. Um, yeah, I mean, we've gotten our arrangements from all sorts of sources. Oh, we have... Um, Davina Bouton did the Dream On arrangement for us. And uh, we'll be working with her in the future, too. We have lots of ideas. So if you have any special requests, please you know, put it on our Instagram or send us a message. We would love to hear what you would love to hear on cello. So we got one more uh, tune coming from Porcello. Thank you so much for joining us. A reminder that these musicians are working for your tips and your tips alone. So if you could find it in your hearts and in your wallets to throw some money into one of the digital tip jars, it is literally how we are surviving these crazy times. And it uh, really makes a difference. Thank you so much. Um, and also, we want to give something back to you. So if you put in 20 bucks or more, there's a chance you could win a $100 gift certificate to the 1905. That's a lot of delicious pizza that you can enjoy on the patio, which is open seven days a week, 4 p.m. onwards on weekdays, and 11 a.m. onwards on weekends. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, smashing that share button, tagging people in the comments. It's been so great to have you. It's been so great to have Porcello here. And now, one final tune from Porcello's. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.